morning, I'm at DMI Precision Engineering in Scotland, just outside Edinburgh. Uh, quite interesting this one, I've come to look at this machine, this is an MT200 Muratech machine. They purchased this a few months ago from Matsura. Now I was intrigued to find out really from the guys today how much of an improvement this machine has made to their productivity. And I spoke with David Black earlier, who's the owner of the company, and it is actually no end. It's unbelievable. This machine has been running uh, lights out here for this company. First time they've gone into the, the kind of unmanned run. But what I like about this machine, and there's, there's, a, there's going to be a longer video on this coming out soon, uh, where David tells us uh, about the benefits and the features of this machine that he's experienced, as well as one of his operators, Kenny, talking to me in detail about uh, the differences between this technology and what he's used to using. But some of the things that are going to be mentioned there that I, I need to point out is actually this machine being a twin spindle twin turret machine uh, has allowed them to do a lot of balance turning so roughing and finishing at the same time they've also uh, got the fact they've got 15 stations on the top turret and 12 on the bottom but double point indexing so they've got 24 opportunities on the bottom turret for tooling and then 15 as you'll see on the top which means that they never run out of of, of the ability to put tools on the machine and it also means that when they're programming parts they can optimize the part around the machine as opposed to the machine around the part, if that makes sense. It means it gives them more flexibility in how they manufacture components to get them off quicker. What is really interesting though is this particular part uh, for the oil and gas industry, stainless steel, this has been machined here on this Muratec machine. And compared to the other machines in the factory, they've experienced less tool wear, faster cycle times. Uh, they've been able to leave this uh, to run, you know, without having to sort of keep checking uh, tolerances and so forth as a result of the material. Uh, and as I said, they've got less, less tool wear thanks to the rigidity of this machine. Uh, quite some part this is, and David tells me more about this component in detail. Uh, but this is just to whet your appetite as to what's coming soon on MTD CNC. That's it from me here in Scotland. I'm back off to the airport now, but it's been a fascinating day here at DMI Precision Engineering.